everyone. So I'm going to show you how to add assignments to your Schoology courses. And notice that I'm in my practice course. This is a great place to be working in over the summer when you don't have courses linked to your Schoology yet. Um, so this is a great place to be able to play and add things um, to get ready for your courses to be added um, in the fall. So to add an assignment, all you're gonna do is go to add materials, add an assignment. Now, if you notice on mine, when it pops up, it'll say assign from app. I have my Google Drive app linked onto my Schoology. Um, so you can add a Google Drive assignment. And when you do that, if you hit Google Drive assignment, it syncs directly to all of your Google resources. And you can link a Google assignment to um, your Schoology for kids to be able to complete. So that's a great, great thing. Um, but if you don't want to add Google assignments and you want kids to just upload something, we could just put test assignments. You can add a description. You can add a due date. You can add a category so it could be ungraded. Um, you can add um, a scale. So if you are using a rubric, you can add that. You can align it to any of your learning objectives that you have. You can individually assign assignments. So if you want five kids to have this assignment and nobody else in your class, you can individually assign um, students. You can lock the assignment for nobody to be able to complete it, which I don't know why you would do that. Um, you can have submissions enabled or you can disable submissions. Um, for right here, you can either have it published to students or you don't have them published to students. So some people like to create um, all their activities and not publish it yet. So this is a great, you can either unpublish it or publish it to students. You can allow comments um, so students can comment on other people's um, assignments or other people's classmates' um, work. They can have, you can enable the comments if you want. Once you get all of your things in your assignment, all you'll do is hit create. And I'll show you an assignment that I had um, for my students. So this is the learner profile. So this is what it looks like when you have a Google assignment. It'll show the assignment and here's the template. It'll show once you have students, it'll show who is in progress and if they've even opened the assignment. And it'll show you who has submitted the assignment. So this is a great way to be able to keep students on track, to keep them accountable for their work. Um, and I hope this helps you. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.